As we've seen, there are a number of ways to create titles in Vegas, each with its own unique benefits. But in my not so humble opinion, the new Blue 3D Titler Pro, which is included as a free plugin with the program, is one of the coolest. With this tool, you can create titles that are not only animated, but which can have shape and which can be tilted and rotated in three dimensional space. And when I talk about 3D with this titler, I'm not talking about 3D like you would see with 3D glasses, not stereoscopic 3D. We're talking about manipulating in 3D, as in moving down the X and the Y and the Z axis so that we can actually rotate and go behind our titles. Very, very cool. Let me show you how it works. We got the new blue titler selected here in our media generators, and we just drag our preset down to our timeline right above the existing event. And when we do that, as you can see, it automatically creates a new video track and it adds our title to our timeline. Let's go back in there to our media generators panel. And so that you can see the timeline better, I'm just going to hover over the seam here and drag up, make my timeline just a little bit easier to see. Now, there is default text there. You don't see it at first, but if you just click on the top of the timeline here so that the playhead is moved to the middle of the timeline, you can see it. And so let's go ahead and we'll just type something in there. My super movie. And we can, of course, with this text selected, Control-A, we can, of course, change our font and we can change the size or the style of the text. Or we can go over here onto the style page and we can actually change you know, the color of the font and those sorts of things. The really cool thing, as I say, is that we can not only manipulate it in the X and the Y axis, but also in the Z axis. So we can move our text around in three dimensions. So that you can see that, what I'm going to do is go over here to style and I'm going to extrude it just a little bit. That means I'm going to add some back behind the text. So it's not flat. So we'll extrude just a little bit. And then so you can see it better, we'll change this to gradient. We'll click on one of the gradient buttons here. And now we can see a little bit better. That blue box around it, don't worry about that. That's just because we have the text selected. See, when it's unselected, you don't see that box. But we need to have it selected in order to do what we're going to do. I'll go over to the object page, and you can see that I can rotate it now, not only toward me, and around, but I can rotate it here so I can see the top and the bottom, or I can rotate it here to see the sides, and you can see that the text has three dimensions. It's extruded. If I go over here to the library, I can find a number of presets that can be applied to my title. Among these are animations and effects, and if I want to preview any one of these, just hover over them and you can see the effect that they're going to have on your title. Some of these are very, very cool. Generally speaking, styles will change how your text actually looks, as you can see here. Templates will change how your text looks, and it will create an animation for them, as you can see. There are animations that can be applied across your entire title. These are categories, by the way, so it's not like you only get a few of these animations. Let me tell you how much you get. You get 150 text animations and effects. You get 19 lighting effects, 30 shapes and graphics, 50 text styles, and 145 transitions. Now, let me show you something you could do here with one of the shapes. For instance, if we wanted to add, if I select from circles, you can see we have one called blowout. I can add blowout here to my title, and then I can animate that. So it's very, very cool. I can turn on keyframing for it. I can make it very small. I want to constrain these here so that they move both at the same time. Turn on that lock, and now I can make it very small. Move the playhead a little bit and make them very large. And then a little bit farther, make it very small again. And now I've created an animation where that little explosion just appears for a second. That's kind of cool, huh? So you have that option too. I'm going to remove that from the timeline just so it's not distracting. And here in our library, we will apply some transitions. Now, transitions are very cool because they change the way the text is introduced or the way it's removed from your screen. And you can use any one of these animated transitions to introduce or to remove your text from the screen. So, for instance, if I go to City Lights, you can see among the categories here with my text selected, these are very, very cool. So let's go ahead and we'll apply the flicker transition. You can see it appears on my timeline there for the first, looks like about two seconds of the title. If I want to make it longer or shorter, I can do that just by stretching it. If I double click on it, I come over here to the transitions 
menu and I can make some pretty specific changes to that transition. I can change the number of the rate at which it flashes, what color it flashes to, whether it's applied to the letters or the words so that the flashing happens either to an individual letter or it happens to an entire word or entire line or paragraph at once. And right now the preset is set to flicker. You have other options too for creating your flashes. So you can get pretty specific on creating a transition. And we can go back here to our list of transitions and we can look at another one here. How about flyback? Flyback looks like this. And I'll double click that. You see it's added right above my city lights transition. So I can drag it though from the beginning to the end of my movie. There we go. Now it's my out transition. So I'm going to deselect my text and let's just play it. And you'll see what happens when we have city lights kind of flickering to bring in my title and then float and pop to bring my title out. That's very cool looking. And there's my title. And then it floats out. That's very, very nice. There's a lot you can do. The transitions can be applied to any text at all. Templates include both transitions and a style for the text. Styles apply to just the look of the text. And shapes are additional graphics you can add to your titles. And then you also have your effects. A great, great collection of things. The New Blue Titler is one of the most sophisticated 3D titlers available. I can't say enough good things about it. It's a deceptively simple tool that makes designing, stylizing, and adding 3D animation to your titles as simple as applying a preset. And yet each of these presets offers tools for customizing how and how fast each of the elements of the effects and the animations work. With this tool, you're really limited only by your imagination.